What up, Luna Moon fam? It's your girl, Meg. Today, I will be recording a makeup tutorial. So, as you can see, I have no makeup on. Plain Jane. Gotta pull the hair up. Yup. So, that's baby skin. It's like pore eraser. So, you put it in and it fills your pores up to make you look a little bit more flawless. That is just CoverGirl um, Olay, and um, it's just foundation. There's a little foundation brush. Patty, patty, patty. Pat it on that face. Uh, oh dear God. Was not anticipating the color being that white. Holy shakaka. <laughs> Um, maybe if I keep trying, maybe if I keep blending. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting the light color to not match my skin because clearly I'm looking like a damn clown. Something tells me I keep. I keep rubbing it in because I think it'll make it better, but as you can tell by my face, what? No, 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 hunting. What just happened? Mm -mm. Redo. So I got the wipe. We got to take it off. That is clearly way too light for my skin. In the future, should have checked it on my hand. Don't do it. That was a no-go. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. What the heck? <laughs> that was bad. I can't get over it. It was so bad. All right, let's start from square one. I realized after watching the video that I never put the pore eraser back on, so whoops. <laughs> that foundation threw me for a loop. Sheesh. Let's try again. This stuff I know matches my face. Yeah. I think it's the light medium. Anyway. Way better. Shake it up. Just put a little glob. Yeah, that's looking better already. Gotta spread it in. Buff it out. Blendy, blendy. Just a little bit more blending. This is just the <laughs> blending on. Big blending. That's what it is. It's a big blend. <laughs> just blend until you can't blend no more. Oh, oh, okay. Now, back to the stuff that was too light. I think it'll do under my eyes. Hope with my night shift bags. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Just a little tappy. Not too much. Oh, oh, okay, good. Now just tap, tap, tap it in. So you can't tap no more. Why, like, this dry skin on my eye? I think because, like, oh, I know what it was last time I used those lashes. I think it was the the liner or adhesive kind of like tore up my inner eye for, or just like an allergic reaction is what I'm trying to say. I'm still tapping. Yup, tapping away. Yep. Okay. Oh, more tapping. Lots of tapping. Just trying to get those crow's feet out of the picture. Okay, we got a new brush here. This is going to be for contouring. So you're going to contour in, right under your cheekbones, lightly. Just helps define your face. So 
just blending that in along your cheekbone, around your forehead, we do your jawline. Yup. bit more if you didn't put enough the first time. It really like shapes your face so it looks really good when you're done. Just take a peek and make sure you got it even. Now I'm contouring my nose. You just kind of follow the line on your nose. Other side. See, I just followed straight down. It just adds symmetry. Makes everything look a little bit more even. Yep, that'll do. This is illuminating, um, whatchamacallit. It's highlighter and blush. So both sides, like the left and right side are the highlighter and the blush is in the middle, but it all has like a shimmer to it. So, do a rat a tat tappy and spread that junk all over those cheeks. Like. See how it adds that highlighter right under my eye, like along my upper cheekbone? That's nice. Mm -hmm. Other side. It's, it's all even. I always go a little lighter on this side because I have like scars, so I try not to like get it caked up in my scars. Ugh. Nobody likes that. Now I'm gonna go along with the spoons again. So make sure they're glistening. Oh yeah, we'll have it on your nose bridge. Yep. Yep. Starting to come together. Mm -hmm. Alright. Add in just a little bit of bronzer, or maybe it's not bronzer. I think it is bronzer. It's like a, like a blush bronzer. I don't know. I just add it for just a little bit more color to make that. Um, what you call it? I can't even think. The contouring stuff. You know what I'm talking about. It blends it in. It brings it all together on your cheeks. This is just like powder to kind of just finish it. Make it even blendable. It looks like I'm gonna contour a little bit more because it looks like I need to just a little bit on the finishing touches on. Next I'll be doing my eyelashes. Now I had issues with the magnetic sign because for whatever reason it kind of made me have an allergic reaction on my eyelids so this kind works better for me. It's an adhesive type. So you just get the brush. There's two um, eyeliner sets. One is clear and one is this 
black eyeliner, you can use either one of both adhesive. So you just follow your um, eyelid, like by your eyelashes, like normal, like you would normally put on eyeliner. And then once it's done drying, the lashes stick right to it. It's amazing. My number uno is done. So get up. Number two is on the way. Yep, nice and straight. As straight as you can. Just follow the lid. You're not gonna always get this way, and if you don't, then you just get a key tip. Put a little concealer on it and kind of just, just straighten out your lines. Don't get discouraged when you mess up. Look at me, I'm taking it halfway across my daggone forehead. <laughs> When in doubt, wing it out, baby. You're an angel. Let your wings spread and fly, okay? Just draw them out. We gotta make them even. I brought that one out. I gotta bring this one out, too. Just the rules, you know what I'm saying? You can't have one big wing and a baby wing. That quick, I think it's pretty good. Just need to fix that one little mark. And that's why I'm reaching for a Q-tip, and it's the pointy kind. These are your best friend. They help me with regular eyeliner. Even when I'm not wearing makeup, I just use a little water and treat it out with normal eyeliner. But with this kind, I use the concealer or the foundation. That way you don't wipe your other makeup off of the water. So you just kind of... Look how pretty that looks. Cut some body with those wings and everything. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Now these little bad boys are the eyelash tweezers. They help you hold them. They're like flat. I think I'm gonna take the top right ones. If I don't, if I remember right. Yup, those. And you get all those in a set. And it's like 30 bucks. So that's pretty darn good. Maybe it's 25, I can't remember. Just make sure your eyeliner is completely dry. Looks like it is. Now the fun begins! You just you pick up your tweezers, pick up the lashes in the middle, not too tight, and literally just stick them on. And BAM! Shazam! Your eye is popping. Ready to go out hunty with those eyes. Mm. Yep. Next eye. See? Lightly. Grab them in the middle. Line it up. So your eyelashes. 
glasses eye. Don't go too far over towards your inner eye. It's like, it's like a piece of cake. Did you see how easy I did that? If I can do it, you can do it. Instantly feel gorgeous. A little lash goes a long way. Aw, oh, yeah, slick those babies back. What? Bam! Oop, time for the lips. And the eyebrows. <laughs> now listen, before I forget to tell you this, this video is going to cut off after I'm done doing my eyes because for whatever reason, my phone deleted the most fun part, and that's the eyeshadow. So I apologize for you guys not getting to get the whole complete um, video, because I really wanted you to see it till the very end, but anyway, I'm sorry guys. So now I'm working on my eyebrows. I literally just took the contouring powder, put it on a flat brush, and I'm just following my eyebrows. So you start with the bottom of the eyebrow. You want to go darker towards the end and lighter towards your inner eye. That way it looks as natural as possible. Now you can use like a... They have the... It's not, I don't know how to describe it. They have the... It's not wet eyeliner. I mean... What is it called? It's wet eyebrow liner. That's what I'm trying to say. But it's not, like, wet. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's it's just, like, eyeliner, except it's for your eyebrows. That has a good effect, too, but I didn't have any. So just follow the tops and the bottoms of your eyebrow. Kind of give it a finish at the end. See? Gorgeous. Instantly shapes your eye. Same thing, follow the brow. Just keep on chucking. Making your arches look beautiful. Make sure you bring the ends out so it's even on both sides. I'm really anal and OCD, so clearly I'm trying to get it perfect. Looks really good, I think. Goodbye, guys. What up, Linda Moon family? Like. It's your girl, Meg. I am outside right now because, well, the lighting's good. And also, I just had to say sorry for the second half of the video being completely cut off because I have low battery. So, uh, <laughs> I apologize. I did not foresee that happening. In the future, I will make sure that it doesn't happen. But anyway, I wanted you to see the finished product. It turned out really good, guys. And I'm, I'm just really sad because the eyeshadow was like the most fun part. Like that's the part I look forward to. As you can see, I did like two or three different colors on the eyelid. And I also finished it with like a shimmer, glitter, whatever you want to call it. And this is obviously not something I would wear on the daily. First of all, I don't wear makeup on the daily. Other than eye, eye makeup. 
but this is more like a glam look if you're going out or if you're going yeah if you go out if you go out <laughs> some people don't go out <laughs> anyway I'm really sorry about the second half so when it cuts off and you're like whoa where'd it go and that's because my video deleted but anyway I love you guys thanks so much for liking <sighs> So I think it turned out really good.